Okay, welcome back. In this session, we will create a reusable component called alert message, uh, which is about uh, simply a dev with the alert uh, class from Bootstrap. Uh, we will use it to show messages and other uh, components. Okay, it's going to take two parameters. The first one is the message itself, and the second one is the type of the message. And depending on the type, it's going to show the color of that message so to get started first i will create a new folder called models inside the blazor project here we will use only the classes that we will use internally inside the blazor app we'll create a class call it alert message type okay i will remove this class or i will create an enum instead the value is going to be three values first one is error warning and success everyone indicates for specific in a specific situation okay let's close this then i will go back to the shared folder here i will create add new item i will create a reusable component Razor component, let's call it alert message at enter. Okay, that's good. This component is going to take two parameters, as I've said before. So before I write the parameters, let me design it. It's very basic component alert. Here is the message. Okay and uh, this is uh, the class the other class is going to be the color let's say or the style of it like danger for red success for green and something like this this one will be dynamically generated or set via c sharp code here and this is the content of the message so here we have two parameters now to make this component accept parameters uh, if I go back to the register, as you can see here, rads in password, rads in text box, rads in button, all of these are uh, shared components or reusable components. You can see here, I can pass a parameters, its properties, and can set values for them like button type, text, button style. To make this, basically, I will create the property, which is message get and set and I will set an attribute for it called parameter that's it it's pretty easy this way I can set uh, properties for the components the second property is going to be first I'll create a private field of type models dot alert message type I'll call it message type Sorry, this one, like this, and this is the property here, public model alert message type, message type, okay, this one is an automatic property because I just want to set the string as it, but here it's going to be a full property, I want to set some operation on the setter, so the get, basically it's going to return just the message type, set it's going to first set the message type equals to the value also here i make switch yeah on the message type okay i will create uh, another private field here i will call it string alert class by default it's going to be equal to alert uh, info uh, this one is a normal color it doesn't indicate like success error or something else it's just the basic one then I will point this alert class this way and the dev for the message property the content of the dev okay now if I set 
the message type to error, then the alert class going to be alert danger warning to alert warning success to alert success. This is all the values we have inside the enum. Now we can say that the alert is ready, but I'll make something here if the string is not null or white space the message then show the div otherwise don't show anything here I can add uh, X button to enable the user to close this uh, message I will add a very basic span I will set inside X like this now on a click on this X is going to hide this message. As you can see here, this message will be removed if the property message is null or white space. So basically, when I click on this, I will create a function called void hide message set message to string dot empty. Very easy message, then I will set on click to hide message function. Yeah, this is the components ready right now. You can see I can use this code multiple, multiple times by just call the alert message a component. Okay, if we come back to the uh, our razor uh, register uh, razor component here first. What I'm going to do is I will create another variable of type models dot alert message type so message type equals to by default to success and here I will remove this three lines I can call alert message then I can set its property message equals to at message and message type is equals to at message type. In this way, if I click save all files, now it's going to be loaded. Okay, when I come here, message is equal to result dot message and message type going to be dot success. This one going to be error and the message of when the request is failed, I will set it to the errors dot first or default set it to the first error if it's null then set it to the message like this okay now what's going on with this one let me check the folder this one again alert dot message yeah, it should work nice after I build yeah okay now it works. This is the alert message. As you can see now, things is very simple. Rather than writing that code, check if null or no. Okay. Okay, build successfully. I will start the project. Okay, back again. Go to both register. I will create another user register. Okay, now this is the alert I got. If I click here, I can close it. Yeah, that's good. Now I will Try to register again with the same email account. Okay, username 
is already taken. Yeah, that's very nice. I can close this message. Yes. Okay. This is how you can create a reusable component. This one was pretty, pretty simple, but in general, building Bazer application, you need always a lot and a lot of components like footer, navbar, uh, header, and sometimes imagine you are building, let's say, a block. Always here on the right side, maybe you set the tags, the recent posts, so this component will be used in multiple places. Let's say you're creating a component about star rating to enable rating in your application, reviews, something like this. This is how you can create component, use them, uh, create parameters for those components. Thank you so much for watching. Always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comment box section. I will try to respond as much as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to AK Academy. Thank you.